Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to check for time and change wear on these Mercedes engines. This is common procedure on the V6, V8, and V12. Uh, mainly on the M272 and the M273, as uh, the early models of this engine that were found on many 2006 and 2007 models had issues. Uh, but what we'll need to do is we're going to turn the crankshaft to 305 degrees on the back plate. The crankshaft has numbers um, that go all the way to 305. 305 is going to be straight up, but on the housing as well, there's a line here. So basically, you're lining up that line with 305 on the pulley, okay? And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove this camshaft position sensor over on that side. That's pretty easy. Now, okay, so here to really there's one, two, three, four camshaft position sensors. We want to just be 100% sure that uh, in this case there's no timing wear issue or anything like that. So we had to take off this power steel reservoir. And the way that you take this off is one bolt here, one in the center, one there. And then you have this clip on the back, you have to pull this out. And then you gotta also drain the power steering fluid. But um, if you really wanted to do a quick without taking out the power steering fluid, you can just remove this sensor, uh, you'll be able to get to that bolt. But this lower one, you won't be able to get to it. And that is okay, um, honestly. So just remove that one and then remove these two over here. And then you will gonna look at the mark, the stamps on these three. But in this case, we have the power steering reservoir off as well, so we're gonna look at all four of them. So here we gotta remove these bolts, one, two, and then on that side as well. These are female torques bolt, but also one quarter socket also fits. So you can remove that, okay? And then on this right here, you're gonna have to press that and pull that up, okay? And you can use a flathead screwdriver for that. Then press on the connector and then pull it. We're gonna do the same thing over here. And we'll press on that connector and pull it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we are going to check. Alright, so we take this out, we take that out. as well and now we're, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Another thing that you need to keep in mind these sensors make sure to put them in the exact same location. Um, they technically have the same car numbers but just in case there's any issues any check engine light on because of faulty one of these and then you're gonna end up having two codes if you move those around. Sensor came out. And this sensor is out as well. So we gotta look down here on the back and the pulley. There we got numbers. So we need a 27 millimeter socket and a ratchet wrench. I'm gonna turn that. It does require a little bit of force, okay? And you wanna go only clockwise on this. Don't go counterclockwise. Put this flashlight here so I can see the numbers in the back. But remember, 305 needs to go straight up and line up with this mark on this ridge on the back here. Gonna look from both angles just because it's a little bit hard to see straight there but it's actually right at 305 right now so now what we're gonna do is look right through here and there we're gonna check that and that so 
Let me show you now with the camera. Let's get a little bit close up so you can see as well. You can see that stamp right there in the center. Look at that right there. So that's good. Over here, you can see the stamp right in the center. And if we can see right through that dipstick. And that's what they should look like. But if you got to wear, you have the timing chain gears, or you got to wear stretch timing chain. But you'll notice that those stamps will be, you'll only see half of it, they'll be moved. Okay. So that's how you know that you got timing wear. So that's it. You got to put it back together. Yeah. Thank you for watching.